There's a right way to do Venice and a wrong way. And I'm going to tell you the right way. When people normally go to big places like this, where there's so much going on, they get really, really kind of locked into what they're going to do. Like, oh, we need to do this at this time, this at this time, that at that time. Kind of follow this rigid formula and not actually get to experience any of it. And by doing that, you actually miss out on all these hidden nooks and crannies. You focus, you hyper-focus on this one place that you want to get to. So what we're doing now is I'm going to check out Rialto Bridge. I know it's this way. By having the smallest semblance of a plan, things kind of fall into place and you stumble upon really awesome things. Venice is an absolute labyrinth of adventure and mystery. I haven't eaten breakfast, so maybe I should get something. Here we go. I think we're getting closer to the spot now. Oh, uh, here, as soon as we turn around this corner, look, we've got the, uh, the tourists, which shows I'm on the right track. All the shops are actually starting to open now. This is a good time to get it. The energy, you feel it. You feel, feel rushing when you're here. So much going on, it's not even nine o'clock. People over there, I'm waving at them, are they waving back? No, no, I was waving at them, they're not waving back. It's funny, I, um, I said the plan was to go to Rialto Bridge, and then that was it. Been there, done that, completed it, and I'm still walking. I've just got so embroiled and so wrapped up in Venice now. I've done that and now I'm just continuing walking. I do know that St. Mark's Square is this way. So that's the thing next on the list, I guess. God. This is what I mean. Every single place you turn without even planning it, you find stuff. Let's go in. We're going to go into this church. breathtaking literally it's so so beautiful that you just kind of hold your breath and if you don't plan it it becomes all the more beautiful Ramolincini. go around this little bit this little tetris block we're going this way oh there's sun over here we'll go this way i'm gonna go the other way because i have a feeling you've got to follow your gut mm. yeah yeah let's go this way oh here we go here we go just stumbled upon it look at that Oh wait, hold on. This way? No. Uh, this way? Yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we can't go, we gotta go around this way. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Let's see, let's see. Just seen that there's some uh, tourist attraction here. It's just the giant, um, it's just the giant tower thing. Yeah, I didn't sign up for it, I didn't book it. I'm not gonna queue up for absolutely ages. You see all this big queue here? This queue's gone on for absolutely ages. I'm not doing it. It's just opposite this giant thing, which I didn't do either. Because, um, yeah, I'm just too busy kind of getting under the skin of Venice, rather than doing all of the tourist things, lining up for hours and hours and hours at time, because I can't really be bothered, you know? There's a piano man. Let's check this piano man out. It's like ragtime. Now, anyway, we're going this way, past uh, to the left of the Basilica, and there's a place called the Bridge of Sighs. If my Venice knowledge is correct, to the right will be the Bridge of Sighs. Yeah, here we go. That right there is the Bridge of Sighs, and the reason they call it the Bridge of Sighs. Prisoners 
would come into Venice on a boat underneath that bridge, underneath this bridge, and every single time you'd be in the general proximity of it, you'd hear their sighs as they knew they're breathing their last breaths of freedom. More shiny bits. As to where we're going now, uh, I don't know, just walk in this general direction. Here you go. Thank you, brother. Have a good day, yeah? Let's go that way. Oh, no, we're going that way. Hidden behind this unassuming piece of scaffy, you have, if I'm not mistaken, San Zachariah Church, Chiezza. San Zachariah and we've got it to ourselves mate sanctum. This is the flooded crypt. I've heard about this place. There was, if you went, if you go down there, Behind that statue, if you look, there was a there was a black a black door. There was a, there was a black door which led into the abyss, into nothingness, and you couldn't see anything behind it. You don't know where it led. And I heard something. There was something down there. There was something down there. If you want to do Venice the right way, come here early. So it's literally just you in this inner sanctum. There's no one else here. Before before maybe the tourists come and you're, you're kind of like ushered in and out maybe. And there's people down there with you. If you're here by yourself. If you're here by yourself, then you will, you will witness something. You will feel something down there. I think we're done here. Oh my god, that was an absolute trip. My heart is still racing from that. So now, we're just gonna go for a little wander about some more. Um, I do know that just north of where we are now, there's what is renowned as the most, or one of at least, most beautiful bookshops in the world. But yeah, we're walking in that general direction. This is so badass, just... You can imagine how it smells as well. Look at this color coordinated one right here. That is spectacular. <laughs> is that not the best entrance to a bookshop you've ever seen in your life? Going for a nice little romantic cruise down the uh, Venetian canals, and then you decide, oh, hold on. I'm in the market for a new tattered book. Caught you up it as well. It's steps made out of 
water damaged books. shops I've ever seen, 100%. We are gonna go left here. Oh, sorry. sorry. I was looking that way. I was looking that way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. She was not happy. Oh, here we go, there's a dude. I'm gonna give him some coin. I'm gonna give him some coin. Buongiorno! Ok. This is beautiful, this is beautiful. Check out that vibe. It's just an impeccable vibe really, isn't it, this place? You need to watch out for pigeons here because they will do a number on you. Wow. Hey mate. So I just stopped for a pee and a pizza break at this spot. It's pretty decent. Just stuck. Whoa! Are you okay? Okay. She did not like the pizza because she like launched out of that doorway like no one's business. Why the hell would there be anywhere in Italy That offers no pizza. No pizza in Italy. Can you believe this? Yeah. Come on, it's man. Weird, it's weird. It's crazy. <laughs> they are talking about something heated. Or oh, no, that's just the way Italians talk. They're probably just talking about what they have for breakfast, to be honest. We go up here, we go up here, we go up here. We see some lovely stuff. Amazing. Check that out. Check that out. FYI, when I first got here, I was just like, oh god, it actually does smell. Like the reputation is true. But Venice is a bit of a stinky spot. But that was um, that was for a little bit, for a tiny little bit, and now it's lovely. I don't actually smell anything. If anything, it smells quite fresh. This is an unassuming alleyway where you walk past it, you wouldn't give it a second thought. So let's see what's down here. Let's check it out. Let's see what Venice has to offer. The inquisitive gentleman. Something quite nice. Quite tranquil. Okay, we're gone. I kind of want to go back to the crowds now to see how busy it is compared to how it was before. You know what, I think I can get the boat from here. I'm trapped because you need to walk that way, but I literally can't unless I go all the way back. So I am gonna get that boat. I am gonna jump on that boat, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm actually hyped for that. The boat is not here. Actually, that could be it. Is that it? This guy's right on time. Perfect timing from this guy. He, you can tell he's a local, he times it impeccably. Whoa, there's a dude. There's a dude. Hell yeah. That's it. Very good, man. Very good, very good, brother. The, the tourists are starting to fill out a little bit more. I think it's what, 11.30 maybe? Oh my God, you know it's a tourist place when they got the crappy Pikachu and Luigi. There we go. The more tacky they look, the more of a tourist spot you're in. You go to Tokyo, you've got a quality looking Pikachu. The Pikachu looks great. You go here, the ears are all wrong. The yellow shade is slightly off color. Are you kidding me? 
This is a supermarket in Venice. Milk? Yeah. This this place is, uh, used to be a theater or... Yeah, do you know what year? 16th century or...? 800. 800? 800. 800! Because it's a fresh milk, or how we tell the commercial? I'll go for the fresh milk, yeah. thank you. You're That's a lot of milk though, I'm probably just gonna get this one. I hate queues at the best of times, and that took far too long. That's the price you pay for going to the best supermarket in the bloody world, because that was insane. So I'm a big fan of that place, happy with that. Drink your milk, makes you strong, makes you big, makes you tough. What's going on here? Quite my tempo. A lot of friendly people. A lot of smiles. Are you in Venice? It's the energy that this place exudes. You can't help. Get caught up in it. Wow. I've got to go in here. Uh, these things are everywhere. Either they're blatant money laundering schemes or they're blatant money laundering schemes. I can't really think of any other scenario back in the center or back in the suck. Here, oh my God, I just found the biggest looking like, tourist I've ever seen. They get a picture of this guy. Look at him, look at this guy. Are you lost? You good? Yeah. It was actually a woman. She was terrified of me. Thanks. You're right. There you go. <laughs> That's sick. That's amazing. Again, don't know the style. I think I've reeled them all off before. Byzantine. Romanesque, Gothic. What's the other one? Baroque. Baroque or Baroque. If it ain't Baroque, don't fix it. So many amalgamations, an amalgamation, shall I say, of all of these different styles to create one gorgeous, eclectic, magical city. It's amazing. When I use the term labyrinth, once again, that is, that is exactly how you would describe this place. I've just stumbled upon a really nice looking pizzeria right now. I do. Does this go anywhere? Or is this dead end? Is it? Yeah. I've done this like 50 times, yeah. but like, that's part of the fun, right? You get lost in Venice, you wander around. Have a good one. Another money laundering spot. I can't, it's unsustainable. Whoa, what this place is. I've remembered that you need to be on the right side. But I don't think it really matters. In, um, in Venice. I think for the most part, wherever you go, you're going to bump into people. People are going to bump into you. So you just need to um, just embrace it. Just deal with it, you know? It's truly, truly, truly a magical city. I can see why it's got such hype surrounding it. It's not false hype. I'll give you that much. Whoa! They just robbed her shit. That was funny. And then you just take one step down on this side and then look what we've got. Just stunning beauty at every single turn. I don't even know what that, that building is over there. So many gorgeous buildings that why would you line up for hours and hours to go to the one that they tell you is decent, you know? Yes, I understand that like St. Mark's Basilica is an icon of Venice. Yes, I understand that tower's awesome. But so are all the little alleyways and nooks that you stumble upon. And the random churches that no one's in. That's personally my um, 
my recommendation to do it the right way, maybe stick to a couple things that right, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna book it in for this time, yeah. and then around that, do no plans. And just walk in one direction. And if you see an alleyway, walk down it. This is a Bravo Taurus hotspot. Whoa, this thing is tiny. Just duck around here. And I'm down. Oh god, I'm gonna get a nice little tan. That guy was far too pasty. Speaking of tans. But yeah, anyway, that's all I've got to say about Venice.